Hey, today we are going to set up and run our first program written in Zig programming language. So let's start. First thing that we are going to do is to install Scoop on Windows PowerShell. I find this the easiest way to install Zig. Uh, if you are using macOS, uh, you can use Brew for example in your terminal. I'm gonna leave the Brew commands somewhere on the screen while I'm installing Scoop on Windows. Okay, now we have Scoop and we can proceed using the command scoop.install to get and set up the latest version of Zig programming language. Uh, let's skip the extracting of the archives. I'll be back when the installation is complete. Alright, we are done. Uh, let's set up our first demo project. I'm going to navigate to my desktop but you can use any location that you want. Next, I'm going to create a new folder called hello world using the mkdir command. Next, we go inside the newly created folder and execute the command zig init exe. Using this command, zig generates a ready to use project which we can build and run. Let's do this and see the actual results. Very nice. We get the string which says all your code base are belong to us, which is an internet meme uh, based on badly translated phrase from uh, the opening cutscene of a Japanese video game called Zero Wing. First thing I want is to have an easier way to edit the code because I'm not keen on using Vim and it's not because I don't know how to save and exit a file in Vim. A better option is using Visual Studio Code. Uh, if for some reason you don't have it, uh, you can download it from the official website, but uh, I'm not going to show the installation itself. Now we have VS Code successfully installed and opened. Just open the hello world directory. You are going to see something like this white text that we are currently viewing. Uh, this is because you probably need to get a Zeek language from VS uh, Marketplace. At some point you are going to get prompted to set up the Zeek path. Specify it by passing the location of uh, Zeek. If you are using Scoop like me, uh, the location is users slash scoop slash apps slash Zeek slash the version that you currently installed, which in my case is version 11. All right. Let's create our own basic program that, let's say, adds two numbers. That's a good beginner program. First, we are going to add two constants, which are integers, using the const keyword. Uh, there is also a var keyword for declaring variables, but it's out of this tutorial scope. Uh, the num1 is a 32-bit signed integer, and num2 is a 32-bit unsigned integer. The difference between the two is as follows. Unsigned int is an integer that can only take um, positive values, no negative values, and thus has a higher range of those positive values. Assigned int is an integer that can be negative as well, but of course has a lower range in exchange for more negative values. So the positive range is less than the unsigned one. After this incredibly unnecessary and long explanation of two constants, we are going to create a third one that will contain the sum of the above two. Finally, we want to print the result in a decently formatted way. Cool, let's run our program. Alright, we get the cool result of 10. You will notice that uh, Zik doesn't have the usual print function. Uh, we will go deeper into this specific topic in future videos. But for now, this is it for this one. I hope you find this tutorial helpful and see you in the next one. Bye!